today I want to show you a widget that you probably already know about but you might not and I really like this wi widget it's called the event calendar and it's a calendar with superpowers it does a lot of stuff so let's try to see what uh, it can do we can click on configure to see how much settings it has like lots of them and of course it looks like this I think the only problem of this calendar is that it lacks the top area that we introduce in other widgets otherwise it looks great and we can see that it has more four main areas a weather area a clock one a list of events and then the actual calendar and we can see that the clock here we can set a timer and it will count down until it reaches zero and then we can choose whether to repeat or repeat the sound I remember that this little widget was super helpful back when I was using this applet. So if you give a look to the settings, there's a lot of them. We can choose whether to use the meteo and the timer. We can even choose which sound to use when the timer uh, runs up. Then we have all the settings for the clock part of it. So we can have like two lines, we can choose some presets, I like this one the best, a preset for you as well. The line height, so very high or not so high, or whether to make it bold. We can also choose to run some commands when the mouse wheel is um, used over it, so like this, to change the volume, very useful. And if it's not on a panel but on the background as a desktop widget, we can choose to make it show the background when clicked. Then we have a layout page which makes us choose how much space to give to each, uh, let's say, subsection. So if I want to give more space to this one but less, less to this part of it, I can just customize it as I want super useful i can also choose to have a very vertical um, look which might be a bit too much in this case but it would work very fine for a sidebar i can choose the time zone makes sense and then in the calendar i can choose whether what happens when you click the date when you double click the date which opens up google calendar like this directly in firefox like this let me show you google calendar and then let's get back to the settings we can show uh, choose whether to show borders i think that it it's much cleaner without them whether to show weeks numbers i actually really like to have the week numbers very useful whether to highlight the current day of the day or week <coughs> what's the first day the event badge whether we want dots, a dot on bar, and so on. The radius, lots of stuff. Like, it's full, very full of options everywhere. You can choose the agenda, which is the um, right one, if I'm correct. The weather icon. Actually, I'm a bit confused on what the agenda is, so let's try to hide it. Uh, and it is indeed the right part of it so weather because uh, i remember that it puts uh, the weather here as well if you turn on weather so let's do that uh, straight away so let's find a city uh, sorry like this and let's select it and just like this i now have the weather here and here super useful uh, it's going to be raining uh, at 2 p.m. I guess. Then we can sync to Google Calendar. So let's do that to show how simple it is. Open up a Firefox instance. No hurry. Here. Choose an account. Sure, I trust this calendar, so allow. Then I just copy paste this code 
back to here and it should work out of the box and now I have all of my maybe not this one all of my tasks and calendars set up I don't use it very much um, Google calendar so there's I think nothing like stuff but still it works so very nice so weather holidays as we as we've seen we can choose what holidays to show in here we've got the ascension and armed force day I didn't know about that then we have a keyboard shortcut to activate it it's such a powerhouse that you might want to set a shortcut to turn it on and then finally events we can plug in also ast astronomical events and again we can also customize those because why not everything is customizable here and the style of the calendar so show borders again we've seen this and I don't like them so let's turn it off sorry uh, events I was talking about uh, the event reminder we can set with a sound and event starting starting another sound so this is pretty much it as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on and as always since this is a Zeran applet it's very high quality I really like it and it's probably one of the best third-party widgets that I've ever seen on Plasma.